Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to use a die cut machine to cut out some lightweight metal for jewelry making. If you haven't seen it already, I'll link it above. A few days ago, I released a video of how I do embossing and die cutting with copper for jewelry making. And I realized in that video, I had a little camera mishap and you got to see all of the embossing, but you really didn't get to see cutting. So I made a quick video for you. And like I said, if you haven't seen the first one, there's a link above and here is how we do the cutting. The specific sandwich I use with the plates for my die cutting machine is I use a thin piece of cardboard and then I use the A plate. Then I use the clear B plate. And the copper I'm using is 30 gauge. I wouldn't use any heavier. And I have a piece cut out and I have one of my dies. And one side is flat and the other side has the blade. And the blade is not sharp, it's just a raised edge. So you can see I am placing my die down on my copper with the blade down and the flat side up. Now I will take my C plate, remember C for cutting, and I'm going to sandwich them together along with that little extra piece of cardboard because it needs just a little more oomph. And I am going to place it into my cuddle bug machine. Now you can use any kind of die cutting machine, I believe, to do this. You don't want to ever force it through. You don't want to break your machine you need to be careful you know every machine may have a different kind of you know the way you need to sandwich plates together so you might need to do a little bit of experimenting but like I said never force it now what I do once it's finished I run it through once or twice and I keeping the die against the metal I'm going to kind of wiggle it because it is cut but it's attached in one or two little places. It doesn't cleanly cut it out like an exact cookie cutter. And you'll see what I mean in a moment. You don't wanna force it. You wanna just gently bend it a little bit. This particular die, whether it's a butterfly or a Luna moth, I call it a Luna moth because of you know the bottom of the wing, the way it looks, but this one particularly kind of gets stuck. So I use my pliers and I hold it. And then with my other hand, I am very gently wiggling the metal just to release it from, you know, the outside of the metal. And there it is. And that's how I cut one out. And I'll show you another, and I'll show you another embossing while you're here. And like I said, you know, if you have a different machine and you don't have the cuddle bug, you possibly can do this, but you need to um, be careful and experiment. Now, here is a 30 gauge piece of copper, same as the other one I used, and I'm showing you how I cut it out. I'm using tin snips that I get at the craft store. They're inexpensive. You can also get them at hardware stores. And I'm just holding my die up against the metal, and that's just to measure so I know that I'm cutting a large enough piece. You also can trace it if you like. You want to you know, give an, a little bit of space around the die you don't want to cut your metal piece like right up against the edge because you know when you're especially like when you're embossing it's going to like you know you're going to shape that copper and you need to make sure you have a little bit around the edge for some give so here i am measuring it up again and i'm going to snip the other piece off and i'll show you once again how we cut it i'm putting the blade side down i have my piece of cardboard and then the a plate the clear b plate the metal, the die with a cutting blade down, and then the C plate. Now my B plates are a little bit warped, so that's why it takes me a moment to get it into my machine. Now, every time you use a B plate, you know you should flip it over and use it the other direction, and we didn't when we were using my machine. So mine got a little bit warped so it might take a little bit of finesse to get it into the machine and here again it's done and i'm gonna just do that wiggling around the edges and then you'll see what it looks like once we take the die off you can see that it's pretty well separated the first one that i cut in the first video uh, I accidentally lopped the head off. The head was stuck and I didn't realize it and I pulled it. And then when I did the soldering video, I showed you how I just gave it another little head on there by adding a drop of solder. And I'll link that down in the description if you haven't seen that video. And that's how I solder these and turn them into really cool jewelry components. 
Now we're going to do the embossing and I'm going to not use any cardboard. I'm going to use that white A plate, the clear B plate, the embossing folder with the copper in it, and I'm turning it over to see that it is centered. So, you know, before you run it through the machine, you want to make sure that it's centered on your design or, or how you want it. And then I'm going to put another B plate on top, no C plate. That's only for cutting. So the B plate, and then I'm going to get it in the machine and mine is manual. So I turn a crank. I know there are electric ones. Uh, I like the manual one. It works fine for me. And just once through is fine. You can do it more than once. You know, you can kind of roll it forward and back again. And isn't that pretty? How beautiful that embossing worked perfectly. So we're going to do a floral one for the next one. I'm lining it up and I'm checking the back to make sure that it's centered where I like it. I'm going to use the white A plate, the B plate, the folder with the metal, and then another B plate. Again, holding them together, getting it through my machine, and then I'll turn the crank and we will see our result. Now, this one I went forward and back, and then forward and then back. And I wanted to make sure that it was, you know, embossed very well. I had never used this folder before, so I wanted to make sure I had a nice deep emboss and that worked great. So now the next one I'm going to do, I'm using this one with lines. It's kind of like branches, reminds me of birch trees, which I love. <laughs> and I am putting the butterfly or the luna moth in there with the right direction. I want to make sure that it is, the pattern is going um, vertically and not horizontally. Again, I have it sandwiched in. We're going to roll it through and we're going to see what happens and we're going to check out our result. Again, I ran this one back and forth a little bit. I think probably once through is fine, but I want to just make sure it's nice and deep. That's really cool. That's a different look and I like it a lot. Now here's a look at the ones that I did. And thanks for joining me. You know, I hope you like this video. I hope you learned something and, you know, leave me a comment below. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And like I said, I'll link the videos below for the longer one that I did on embossing and cutting and then the ones for how I turn one of these into a really cool piece of soldered jewelry. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.